WWE sets a trap for Roman Reigns. Bold predictions for Backlash 2023. Seth Rollins advised to stay away from 28-year-old WWE superstar WWE Backlash 2023 to show everyone why Cody Rhodes lost at WrestleMania 39. WWE creates a scary new faction after the draft. Vince McMahon's pick as Roman Reigns' opponent at Night of Champions and more. Let's jump right into it. Bold predictions for Backlash 2023. WWE superstars will be in Puerto Rico for Backlash 2023 this Saturday. The May 6th event is set to feature the likes of Cody Rhodes, Brock Lesnar, and Seth Rollins, to name a few. Grammy Award winning rapper Bad Bunny will also be in action in a street fight against the Judgment Day member Damian Priest. The premium live event will feature three title matches. Austin Theory, Bianca Belair, and Rhea Ripley will put their championships on the line at Backlash 2023. Theory won't have to be pinned in order to lose his title in a triple threat match against two formidable opponents in Bobby Lashley and Bronson Reed. Seth Rollins will have his hands full against Omos. The match came out of the blue and even the visionary was taken aback by the booking decision. The Nigerian giant prepared for the match by squashing a local enhancement talent this past week on Raw. With that being said, here are five bold predictions for Backlash 2023. Number 1. Bronson Reed wins the United States Championship at Backlash 2023. The former NXT North American champion has been decimating his opponents ever since he made his return to WWE under the AAA regime on the December 19, 2022 episode of Raw. Reed returned as the Mize Lackey but disassociated himself from the A-lister several weeks after. Defending champion Austin Theory will definitely need to watch over his back as he heads into the match with a huge chip on his shoulder. The A-Town superstar will undoubtedly have the odds stacked against him in the form of Reed and Bobby Lashley at Backlash 2023. Number 2. Io Sky scores huge upset over Bianca Belair. Io Sky bested Mitchin and Piper Niven in a triple threat match to become the number one contender for Bianca Belair's Raw Women's Championship. The ESD congratulated the challenger and said she is looking forward to their meeting at Backlash 2023. The genius of the sky has a huge opportunity against the Raw Women's Champion, and she could just be the one to dethrone Belair. Bailey and Dakota Kai will definitely be lurking somewhere to watch the action and even interfere when the right moment arrives. Number 3. MVP forms Hurt Business 2.0 The Hurt Business was undoubtedly the most dominant stable in WWE during the Thunderdome era. MVP guided Bobby Lashley, Cedric Alexander, and Shelton Benjamin into championship gold during their time together as a unit. With the almighty now exclusive to SmackDown, MVP could form Hurt Business 2.0 with Omos, Cedric, and Shelton at Backlash 2023, as all were declared free agents after the WWE Draft 2023. Number 4. Bad Bunny gets unexpected help against Damian Priest. Bad Bunny and Damian Priest tagged together against The Miz and John Morrison at WrestleMania 37. Two years later, they are willing to tear each other apart. The two superstars will meet each other in a street fight at Backlash 2023. Ball Priest will most certainly have the backing of Finn Balor and Dominic Mysterio. Bunny isn't expected to have a backup unless Grammy-nominated artist Daddy Yankee decides to show up and help El Benito in his match against the punishment of the Judgment Day. Number 5. Ronan Reigns shows up despite not being advertised. Ronan Reigns isn't advertised for Backlash 2023, but that doesn't mean the Tribal Chief can't make a surprise appearance at the event. Reigns could very well show up to help the Bloodline, the Usos and Solo Seco, in their match against Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Matt Riddle. Another prediction is that Ronan Roman Reigns shows up only after his team loses the six-man tag match to the Babyfaces. The Tribal Chief is getting increasingly impatient with the Usos. It's only a matter of time before he snaps. What are your predictions for Backlash 2023? Let us know in the comments. The Bloodline set to lose again at Backlash 2023. Things have been less than stable in the Bloodline. Even without Roman Reigns throughout April, the most dominant faction in recent WWE history has never looked as unstable as they do now. Wrestling legend Bill Apter revealed why he thinks they are going to lose at Backlash 2023. Bill after spoke to Teddy Long and co-host Mac Davis on the Wrestling Time Machine to preview Backlash 2023. One of the marquee matches will see the Usos and Solo Sicko take on the undisputed tag team champions Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn along with Matt Riddle in a six-man tag team match. Given the recent tensions that have been occurring within the bloodline, Bill After predicts that they will lose to further the story. I think there's going to be some sort of dissension taking place in the bloodline between the Usos there, and it's going to cost him the victory. Because he kept saying, what happens if they lose? We're not going to lose, but what happens if we lose? So there's something more to this than what we know. I picked the bloodline to lose that night. The tribal chief Roman Reigns has not been happy with the Usos ever since WrestleMania 39 and Paul Heyman has subtly but cleverly indicated that, that on multiple occasions. Solo Sicko has been the one tasked with taking out the Usos. He was supposed to do so recently in Corpus Christi after the brothers failed to regain the tag team titles from Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Although Matt Riddle prevented Solo Sicko's attack from happening, it has been made clear on multiple instances that he will take his own brothers out on Roman Reigns' orders. If the trio loses at Backlash, expect some major consequence. 
Seth Rollins advised to stay away from 28-year-old WWE superstar. Seth Rollins received a piece of advice from Teddy Long ahead of his match with Omos at Backlash 2023. At Backlash 2023, the visionary will take on Omos in a first-time-ever match. This is bound to be one of the biggest challenges of Rollins' career. On the latest edition of the Wrestling Time Machine, Mac Davis discussed Rollins versus Omos with Bill Apter and Teddy Long. The former SmackDown general manager had some interesting thoughts to share about the match and had some advice for Seth Rollins as well. I still think you're pretty much going to see the same. I don't think it will be real long. Maybe a little bit more competitive this time than it was with Brock. Now Omos understands a little bit more about what his role is, what he needs to do in there. So I think that will be a pretty good match, but like I said, I don't think it will be too long, and it shouldn't be. You got a big giant here, either way it goes, you can get something on you quick and get the 1-2-3. to two, three. My thing with Seth Rollins, stay away from the man. Cause if he gets his hands on you, he's pretty much in control, said Long. Shortly after WrestleMania 39, WWE announced that Rollins would be taking on Omos in their first ever encounter at Backlash 2023. The WWE Universe was left confused by the announcement as there had been no signs of a feud between the duo in recent weeks. The two-time Grand Slam champion himself looked surprised by the announcement. He shared a gif on his official Twitter handle, hinting that he didn't expect the announcement. Rollins has defeated some of the toughest men in WWE over the past decade or so, including Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. It remains to be seen if he has it in him to take down the Nigerian giant at Backlash 2023. WV Backlash 2023 to show everyone why Cody Rhodes lost at WrestleMania 39. Cody Rhodes' match against Brock Lesnar could show everyone why he lost at WrestleMania 39, according to Teddy Long. Just when it looked like Cody Rhodes would be the one to dethrone Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 39, WV pulled a swerve and had Reigns retain his title. Since then, fans and critics have weighed in on the company's decision to have Reigns retain his title at the biggest show of the year. WWE veteran Teddy Long is now the latest to weigh in on this topic. During a recent interview with Inside the Ropes, Teddy Long opened up about Rhodes' monumental loss at WrestleMania and said that it wasn't the right time for him to win the title. There's a time for everything, Long explained. A lot of the wrestling fans, they don't understand this is based on timing. Sometimes it's not the right time to put the belt on somebody. You have to wait a little bit, build something, make a story, get something to work there, and then put the belt on him. Long further stated that Rhodes' match against Brock Lesnar at Backlash will show everyone why they didn't put the title on him at WrestleMania. I don't know what their plans are with Cody, Long said, noting that whatever decision is made with him is likely made for a reason. I guarantee that maybe even the people that didn't like that decision probably as this thing moves on with Cody and Brock, they'll see why they didn't do it. Although Rhodes is currently in a feud with Brock Lesnar and both men are Raw superstars, the American Nightmare is currently being advertised for a SmackDown appearance this week. WWE made the official announcement via their Twitter handle. However, at the time of writing, it is unclear what role Cody Rhodes will play on the blue brand this week. Maybe he will confront his recent rival Roman Reigns to let him know that he still has his sights on the undisputed WWE. Universal Championship. Whatever the reason for Rhodes' presence on SmackDown, it will definitely be entertaining to hear what he has to say before his big match at Backlash. Do you think Cody will defeat Brock Lesnar at Backlash? Sound them off in the comments section. WWE creates a scary new faction after the draft. Triple H guided WWE through the draft over the last two episodes of SmackDown and Raw. The company pushed forward, allowing stars to either of the two brands. However, on both nights, a few stars were left out of the equation who didn't get drafted. The company dubbed them free agents. In doing so, though, they may have created quite a chaotic equation. Anytime stars are made to feel like they are outcasts, it does not end well. Except for Brock Lesnar, the rest of the stars who are free agents just went undrafted. They didn't get mentioned much, and their future was not contemplated on WWE television either. This could make anyone feel upset, and the stars might feel that they were ignored. While John Cena, Brock Lesnar, and Logan Paul not being drafted makes sense, the rest don't fit in that category. Baron Corbin, Cedric Alexander, Shelton Benjamin, Dolph Ziggler, Omos and MVP, Mustafa Ali, Elias, and even call-ups like Von Wager and Sean Quinn not being drafted puts their future in question. In such a situation, the company might have a plan for them they just have not made public. Together, this team could easily be a formidable faction. While there are a few feuds within these few names, they might unite for a greater cause, proving their value to WWE. They could do this by forcing Triple A to take notice of them. Attacking top stars as a faction could be a return of the Nexus, in a manner of speaking. With Baron Corbin, Dolph Ziggler, and MVP all senior and with enough experience to become a leader, it would be a group that would be difficult for anyone to take on. MVP is no stranger to successful factions. The Hurt Business was one of the best things about the company during the last few years. He could easily be the combining force that brings this force together to attack stars on both SmackDown and Raw. The storyline is just there for WWE to pick it up, and it would also make for some unpredictable storytelling. Now, it remains to be seen whether WWE will follow through with this. Do you think the company will unite in the next few years? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below.
Vince McMahon's pick as Roman Reigns' opponent at Night of Champions Roman Reigns' Night of Champions opponent is yet to be officially announced. According to a report from WrestleVotes via Guide My Sport, Vince McMahon suggested an opponent for the Tribal Chief for the Saudi Arabia show, but the idea was scoffed at by the creative. Fans have been wondering who Vince McMahon could have possibly pitched as Reigns' opponent for Night of Champions. Almost as one possible pitch, the report further stated that the WDB creative viewed Vince's idea as lacking sense. I was told that Vince McMahon has pitched several ideas for Roman Reigns' next challenge. Challenger. A few of them were even kind of scoffed at, like that hat doesn't make any sense, the report said. Ronan Reigns will reach 1,000 days as Universal Champion by the time Night of Champion takes place in Saudi Arabia. The May 27th event was originally called King and Queen of the Ring. However, WWE renamed the show because of a reason that reportedly involved their top guy. Elmos, meanwhile, will take on Seth Rollins at WWE Backlash 2023. The Nigerian Giants' last premium live appearance saw him take on Brock Lesnar. The two superstars collided in the opening match of Night 2 at Wrestle. WrestleMania 39. The Beast came out as the victor at the grandest stage of them all. WWE will return to London for their upcoming iteration of Money in the Bank. The premium live event will emanate from the O2 Arena in London on July 1. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion wasn't previously advertised for the event. WWE recently updated the list of featured superstars for the event. The new list includes the Tribal Chief, and this has led to speculations that Reigns will grace the famous O2 Arena with his charismatic presence. This year's Money in the Bank could also help the Tribal Chief win the New World heavyweight champion. Are you looking forward to the show? Let us know in the comments. WWE sets a trap for Roman Reigns The wrestling world is abuzz with reactions after WWE made a major change to Roman Reigns' status for an upcoming premium live event. WWE will be heading to the famous O2 Arena in the United Kingdom for this year's Money in the Bank PLE. While the Tribal Chief was initially not advertised for the show, he was recently added to the list of featured stars for Money in the Bank. The event will also feature the traditional ladder match, with the winner getting a chance to cash in the briefcase for a title opportunity at any time. Reigns' presence at the PLE puts him in danger of getting cashed on by by the new winner the same day and many fans believe the recent change in his status could lead to the same. Roman Reigns has been working a limited schedule for over a year. He was not present at Money in the Bank PLE last year, and getting added to this year's edition could certainly mean that something huge is bound to happen at the show. Roman Reigns has been unstoppable since returning as a heel at SummerSlam 2020. The Tribal Chief has taken down several top names during this time and doesn't have many credible challengers left to face him. While Reigns is not scheduled for the Backlash event this weekend, he will be present at Night of Champion, where he will reach the historic landmark of holding the Universal Championship for 1,000 days. While it has been reported that his next title defense will take place at the PLE in Saudi Arabia, there is still no update on his opponent. Reigns has not featured much on TV programming since his victory over Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania 39 and isn't part of any feud currently. Furthermore, it has also been reported that WWE is discussing three names as the next potential challenger for the head of the table, with Bobby Lashley, Karrion Cross, and AJ Styles being in the mix. Styles and Lashley have had notable feuds with Reigns in the past, while Cross has never come across the megastar, Roman Reigns is set to return to WWE programming on this week's SmackDown, which will be the go-home show for Backlash. While he won't be competing at the PLE in Puerto Rico, the rest of the bloodline will be in action against Matt Riddle, Sami Zayn, and Kevin Owens in a six-man tag team match. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gon' feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me